Nobody here wants people to make less. Everybody wants people to make more. Whether it's tipping or not tipping, the goal is still the same. Homestead opened in August of 2013. Being a small business owner is kind of the American dream. You can go out and you can forge your own path, be your own boss, create your own community, and really kind of thrive within that. In November of 2014, Oakland voted on Measure FF. The measure would raise minimum wage from $9 an hour to $12.25. And then built into that law was other bylaws as far as the way that tips could be distributed within a restaurant system. My gut reaction, purely just from the minimum wage standpoint, was fear. A lot of times these minimum wage laws are much more detrimental to small business owners. As we projected two years out, four years out, six years out, we began to realize that there isn't that much of a path forward. We have to redefine who we are and what we're doing under these new conditions. 83% of the population of Oakland voted to pay the lowest paid worker more money. How do we make this happen? Our lowest paid employees are our porters, dishwashers, bussers, and line cooks. Servers make minimum wage plus tips. It has always amazed me how much more the servers have made than everywhere else. My server is walking out every night with $500, but my cook is taking home $150. That's a huge discrepancy. How can I narrow this gap a little? The immediate response is, you have to raise prices. If you just straight up raise your prices and do nothing else, that contributes further to the disparity. The concept of tip-free kind of just kept sort of bubbling up. Tipping is just part of American culture and it's part of our economy. Tipping allows the restaurant owners to lower their cost and put some of the burden on the customers. You shouldn't, as customer, have to subsidize an employer. Working for tips can be the greatest job in the world. It can also be the worst. Some nights you make more than a stockbroker. Some nights you make less than a panhandler. When a guest tips a server, they don't know if that server showed up on time to work. They don't know if that server is disrespecting the kitchen employees. No other business would tolerate that. People are like, oh, well, I don't think my servers are going to work very hard if they don't have tips. I'm like, well, if they weren't working hard, then I wouldn't employ them. Is there racism, sexism, and bias in tipping? If there's no tip, then it doesn't matter. The reality for me is the tipping model, it's dying.